Hey everybody, my name is Alex with Hake Hardware. In this video, we are gonna go over how to get Ubuntu installed in WSL, and we'll also cover how to get WSL installed. So let's jump over to Windows, and we're gonna right click on the Start menu and click Terminal, choose the Admin version, and then we're gonna type WSL dash dash install dash dash no distribution. And that will get WSL installing here. Okay, so we will need to reboot the computer before we can continue. So let's just get the computer rebooted here. All right, we're doing a little bit of updates here just while everything gets turned back on. Having a slight issue with our, there we go. All right. So we are logged back in, we have WSL installed. And the next thing we're gonna do is bring back our terminal. And then we can do WSL dash dash list dash dash online. And this is gonna give us all the different operating systems we have available. We're gonna do Ubuntu 24.04, so copy that. And then w, WSL dash dash install dash D for distribution. And then you just paste in the distribution that you want to install. And this is usually pretty quick. And the first thing we're gonna do once everything is installed is create a username and password. Okay, now that we have this prompt here for a username, I'm just gonna put in Hake Hardware and then a password. And we're immediately brought into our Ubuntu desktop here. So there are a few things we can do. Um, first is we're gonna wanna update our system. So we'll do sudo apt update and sudo apt full upgrade dash y. And we'll let that run, that way we can get the latest updates for our operating system. Okay, and we can kind of simulate a reboot here by typing exit. We'll do WSL dash dash shutdown, and then WSL. And that's basically like the equivalent of restarting our distribution after our updates were done. Um, we can just uh, exit out of here for now. And a few other things, uh, you can do WSL-L-V. This is gonna list all of the versions. So you can do more than one operating system. Uh, so that this will list all of your currently installed Linux distributions. And then if you have multiple and you wanna set a default, so when you type WSL, it's gonna go into your default distribution. You can always set the default by doing wsl-set-default and then the name of the distribution here. And that's it. So now you have WSL, WSL installed and you can start playing around with Ubuntu. If this video was helpful, please feel free to leave a like and I'll see you in the next one.